Good morning, Brave Awakened Ones. Lady V, Veronica of Higher Realm Holistics here. Um, thank you, Patreon supporters. Thank you, everyone who joined last night um, in the group meditation where we invoked and called in the guardian angels that are close to earth now who, you know, who are under Mary, Queen of Angels and Archangel Michael. Uh, the Lord of the Angels, we call them in to help us end human human um, trafficking and sacrifice here on Earth. Um, before I get started, go to HiramHolistics.com if you're interested in a Lady VT. Okay, uh, they run a little big. This is a medium, but the small actually fits pretty nice if you like a size six eight, which is what I am right now. Um, men's, women's, children's, all different sizes, hoodies, you know, different merch. Also, uh, I'm having a webinar this evening to um, help have artistic breakthroughs, creative breakthroughs. Okay, it's not just for artists and writers, it's creative breakthroughs in general. So join me tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can register at HireRealmHolistics.com. There's still time. And also, if you're interested in the session, medical empathic intuitive, um, I'm highly intuitive, highly empathic. I'm also certified integrative holistic health and certified EFT tapping. And uh, I have an office in North Miami Beach where the 7th of September, I'll be having a free um, get together where we do tapping, we do meditation, we do Reiki. So that's in my office, North Miami Beach, at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're there for a couple of hours, so if you want to make the trip out, come and commune with your fellow light workers. And we also do Ascension Talk at the end. And uh, Patreons, I already sent you out notice. We're having our, our uh, Q&A coming up on the 7th, also 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And then I'll also be doing my drawing to announce who's the uh, winner of the one-on-one -on -one session with me for my Patreons also, who are $9.99 over. So last night, this is an RV42. I had a really rough night, y'all. Really rough night. Once I tell me, get some rest. Oof. It was a really rough night. I woke up. My eyes are still puffy. I just put two tea bags on them to help with the puffiness. Um, first, I'm going to address what happened last night when we were doing our meditation. And I remember saying, oh, I just saw a face. And it wasn't an angelic one. I didn't want to go into it because I wanted everyone to stay focused on what we were doing. Like halfway through, I said, oh, I just saw a face. And it was a very angry face. And with that, I heard the giants, uh, the awakening of the giants. The giants have awakened. That's what I heard when I saw it. And it was like the, it was a snap of a of a remote view when I saw that that face, that the angelic voice that was not a voice necessarily it was um, you know telepathic said we have awakened the giants, awaken the giants. They weren't asleep. They're awakening as in they're scared and angry from what we're doing. Don't freak out. They're scared and very angry because we're cutting off their food source. Their food source have been cut off. Yes, they do feed on humans. And they do live in those underground tunnels. That is where they are. I keep seeing California. Um, they're at all those different locations, especially in Antarctica, up in Greenland. Not so much as the poles, they're at the poles, but they've migrated closer, Greenland and Antarctica. And there's even some out in California. Um, I'm hearing Russia, China has some also. They're different locations. We've angered the giants. They're also very scared, okay? Because we called in, we called in reinforcements. And I received some note, some person made a comment about last night saying, I should only call on Jesus. I work with Yeshua very closely. I have been since I was four years old. I work very close with Yeshua. He was the one who told me that they're here, that the guardian angels are very close to us. Um, it's like, you know, instead of calling the cops for help, you call your next door neighbor for help. I mean, it's something like that, you know, 
who's more readily available. And it's not to say Yeshua is not available everywhere all the time, 24-7, but it's just what I was guided to do. Okay, so it's all right. We don't have to agree. We don't have to, um, you know, we don't have to be on the same page. It's all good. You do your thing, I do mine. Um, so that is what that face was about when I saw that angry face because it was like, Arr! And what it looked like, it had a long, like, strawberry blonde beard and long grayish. It had gray in it, but it was, like, gray and, and strawberry blonde, long hair, and very, very pale, 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 pale skin. I didn't see the whole body. All I saw was the head and the face because it was, and I think it was a leader or something. That's what it felt like to me that it, it was a male it, it was a leader and it was very angry at what we were doing okay but no worries you know we we have the guardian angels on our side and they're here to help you know um they're under the marching orders of mary queen of angels and archangel michael the lord of the angels okay so we're good you know that's how i feel about it <laughs> Okay, the second thing was even tougher than the first thing. Um, I was taking a remote view and I heard a bunch of cabal people talking and plotting and they were plotting a hanging and they're still on this racial civil war tip that they want to have here in America. And what they were plotting is on hanging a black conservative they want to hang a black conservative and there i was seeing which ones they were considering i'm not giving out names though so i was guided to do a prayer this morning very much like we did last night you know calling on a guardian angel a specific one to help guard over those people to try to stop the plan so it won't happen so it's it's a plot that's going on right now okay it's not to say that it's going to 100 percent happen i saw them plotting so i could intervene and in what they're doing and put protection over those people so that's what um i'm doing this morning and you could also even though i'm not giving out names you could at least put in prayers and put out extra protection for them too I was told to ask that all right so that was it everyone uh, good job last night you know uh, light warriors we have to be brave you know whether we're waking up sleeping giants you know they're angry because we're cutting off their food supply so be it it's time for this this bullshit to end because I'm tired <laughs> and I'm sure you're all tired of it also. Even the normies are tired. That's why they don't know which way to turn. They're, they're losing their minds. Okay. Um, okay. So Lady V out. We already got the victory. This is, this is the cleanup, which is even harder, you know? So, yeah. See some of you guys tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for my creative breakthrough webinar. And all my other webinars are still available for purchase in my higher realm magic also. You know, so you could take control, be the magician, be the high priestess, be the high priest. And also um, my book, How the Caterpillar Flew, A Journey of Self-Discovery, which is a children's picture book. And When Angels Come to Play, which is for young adults and adults. Okay? Lady V out. Hi, Bye.